Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Two deck reviews. Three deck reviews. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to a brand new week. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? My weekend was filled uh, doing magic reviews. Doing magic reviews in church. <laughs> doing magic reviews, going to church. Uh, oh, soccer game was in there too. I uh, went to my kid's soccer game. Uh, he, didn't do t he didn't do too good. He was goalie and he loves being goalie, but uh, I think he literally missed every single ball that came into the goal. Like I think the other team scored like four goals off of him and then the coach pulled him. So I didn't, I didn't blame him. <laughs> but today we're gonna look at the new Caroline Raven deck. Caroline Raven, of course, uh, awesome magician. And then Stockholm 17, uh, one of the best deck designers alive today, right now, awesome. And if you're not familiar with Caroline Raven or the Stockholm 17 line of Raven decks, I would highly recommend you go back through my past catalog, my history, and check some of those out. This is the fourth installment. These are the Raven 4s. I'm going to look at the red and the blue. This was a Kickstarter that came out successfully funded, of course. And also the black deck with red foil, the Raven X. I'm going to look at all three decks. Let's go. Now, for the most part, the red and blue deck are going to be very similar, except for the fact that red is red and blue is blue. It says poker size, and you have the raven there. It says raven playing cards, and then you got the four hashtag lines. On the side, you're going to have these hands, and this is like all the other raven decks, that when you put it together like this, right, when it sits side by side on your shelf, it makes a full hand. On the bottom, you got some ad copy about Stockholm 17 and the fact that these cards are made from the United States Playing Card Company who makes awesome cards. And you have carolineravens.com uh, as well as Stockholm 17. The top simply says Raven. And I believe if you flip it upside down, it also says Raven. And the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The inside tuck flap has a Raven there too. And it has a 17, has Carolina Raven's uh, logo there. The inside tuck flaps also has some ornamentation and the inside of the lining also has some printing as well. That's pretty much everything I can say about these two tuck cases. Let's bust them open and look inside. Raven 4 has a brand new back design with classic colors. So those of you who like the classic red and classic blue, I think will get a big kick out of this. And they have a nice uh, hinting, a nice homage to the previous decks. I love all the Celtic band work that Stockholm 17 puts into his designs. And of course you can see many Raven heads scattered throughout. With this deck, you'll also get a double backer, one side red, one side blue, which will be great for color changes. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. This is called the loop. It's a multi-dimensional illusion where the Raven plays peekaboo with himself. And you'll also get a third joker this is entitled Sir Raven the Fourth, who uh, the creators say is a cardistry master, a gentleman, and a magician. Your Ace of Spades is a nice, big, exploded pip. It says Raven up there at the top, and it has a lot of really interesting graphics around it. The bottom says Raven playing cards. The inside design work is titled The House of Raven, and it's described as a space-shaped shelter with a lot of details. Going through the deck, you're gonna see your pips and indice cards are gonna be completely standard. Blacks are black, reds are red. Layout wise, everything is gonna be exactly how you'd expect. Court cards might look standard, but if you take a closer look at their faces, you'll see that they've been redesigned. And I love these Stockholm 17 faces. They're so much more clearer. And I think the detailing makes them look original and uh, very modern. Well, that's everything I can say about these decks, but you still want to know how they feel and handle. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.74. 2.74 is a nice, soft, crushed stock. It's a beautiful middle of the road, and these are going to feel great, and they're going to bend and move exactly like you'd want right out of the box. All right, let's take a look at the Raven X deck now. Uh, X only because, well, it sounds cool, 
And it sounds cool whenever you add an X to something. And also because X is the Roman numeral for 10, and this is the 10th variant of the Raven Dex, you'll see that it's got that red foil there on the front and that black gloss against the black matte embossing of like the twisted tree. And you got a little Raven right there. One side says four, as does the other. And then you have some similar ad copy on the bottom about Stockholm 17 and Raven. You got the back design all done in red foil and the top has the little four hash mark as well. The inside is also gonna be lined with foil and design work. And that's everything I can say about this tuck case. Let's bust it open and look at these cards. The back design on the X deck is similar to the others. Whereas in this one, you have that micro thin white border and then you have the black popping through the red. And I think that's what makes this stand out. Plus the red on this is also a lot sharper. It's a darker and deeper, almost blood red. With this deck, you're gonna get the same three jokers as you saw previously, but instead of the double backer, you'll get an extra seven of hearts, which is great for card to impossible location effects. And really other than the back design, everything is gonna be similar uh, with this deck as well. Uh, Ace of spades and all your court cards. Coloring wise, there's really no different uh, in this variant other than the back design. But that's just what the cards look like. You also wanna know how they feel and handle. 10 cards in the Calper come to 2.77. So just a tiny bit thicker than the red and the blue, but not much. You probably won't even notice that small of a variant with your own fingers. But again, it's not a nice thin crush stock from the United States Playing Card Company. These are gonna feel like great cards right out of the box. All right, that was the Raven 4 deck from Caroline Raven, Stockholm 17. Go and hit up their Instagram accounts. Make sure you're following them so that you're alerted when there are future projects. Uh, the decks will be available um, on Stockholm 17's website very soon. Uh, I've already started to see them pop up on other websites. I know they're available on Penguin Magic, so there's plenty of places you can purchase these from your favorite place to purchase cards. I want to thank Stockholm 17 for allowing me to have these decks so that I could do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But wait, do you want to learn more about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Of course you do. That's from my Teespring store. If you scroll down into the description area, you can click any one of those t-shirt graphics. It'll take you out to Teespring and show you my magic orthodoxy apparel. That's right. I've got several different styles and colors and price points to choose from, including my king of clubs, Black Roses exclusive Daniel Schneider tea. If you appreciate what I do, that is a great way to support this channel. Thanks.